Keno Stadium was the place to be tonight as the Independent League Baseball team, the Tucson Saguaros, went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Roswell in a winner-take-all Game 3 championship. The Pecos League title game had a first pitch at 7 p.m. And hey, it is the second year in a row that Tucson and Roswell were playing a Game 3 for all the marbles. And here's how it all went down. Early on, Invaders starter Anthony Moore is about to lose his hat on the mound, but he still gets the call for the strikeout right here on Sadler Goodwin. And for Tucson, how about Tyler Rumba getting the start for the Saguaros. The runners are first to go in and catcher Caden Ledbetter with the gun, Patrick Music with the flying tag, but the runners called safe. Come on. Meanwhile, Music is saying he tagged Demarcus Kelly on the arm. And when I say saying, Music is saying it with a lot of anger. Why I gotta, come on. Arr. Let's take another look, my friends. It appears the tag is well in front of Kelly's foot Get in the bag. It's a call that did not go Tucson's way at all. And you know what happens next, folks. That base runner is about to come home with an RBI from Dylan Smith. Roswell will take a 2-0 lead after that. Later, Kelly will be at the plate, and he's showing off his bat. This is a two-run double to right, and in the end, Tucson could not come back. The Invaders win their fourth title and deny Tucson a third straight championship. Final score, Tucson loses 5-2. to two.